tacos and shawarmas, man. We here. There go L over there. She's dying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. You know, she got a beautiful little Mrs. Delphire. No, Princess Diana jacket. I, I, oh, I fixed Mrs. it. Delphire. I fixed it. I fixed it. Okay, fixed that's it. good. Yeah, that's that, good. Don't get me. Yeah, I won't. Okay. Fuck. Okay. So he's back because he's funny as shit. Hello, he's guys. Very entertaining. I have no fear, Mr. Organic is here, man. AKA, they call me the King Crab now, man. That's my new name. <laughs> when I talk my freaky talk, just call me King Crab, you know? When I'm on normal political stuff, just call me organic, you know? Political stuff? Yeah, if we, yeah, we want to get political with it, whatever. I'm just Jarvis Rivers. Okay. When we going on, you know, a tangent of energy and, you know, all the other stuff, mm-hmm. Mr. Organic. When we talk freaky and the girls are King Crab in the building, a.k.a. Mr. I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Get me, eat me up, baby. Devour. <laughs> You're fucking crazy. Right out the shower. You know what I mean? You can devour. Don't be. You know what I want to ask you? Yeah. I'm so sorry. That was a big fuck up on my part, guys. It's okay. We forgive you. I wanted to ask you something. Yes. Okay. Do you prefer women who have hair down there or no hair? I like hair. You like hair? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy you asked that. Why? Because, um, I like I like to see my beast before I kill it. You know what I'm saying? Like how much hair? It depends. You know so what I'm saying? Tell me. It depends. I don't mind the hair. Don't I'm not saying like if you don't got no hair, it's, it's a no go. But right. um you prefer a little bit of hair? But or? that's kinda it, it's like it gives you tingles when you enter in that thing. It's like when you open it up, it got a little tingle on that dick dick hole when you go in there. It gives you extra little sensations. But I'm I'm saying like do you want like a landing strip or <laughs> does or it could be like a full I like jungle? A bush, as long as it is shaped up bush. You know, really? like a real tapered afro in that pussy. I like that. Mm. I like a little hair on that. I like a little hair on my on, on my on my on my cue before I eat it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind it. See, I, I always wanted to know. See, girls be always like, "Oh, I can't. You can't come over tonight. I didn't shave." We never yeah. say we care. Like, in, probably in, rare in history of life, a guy be like, "Oh, you didn't shave. I am not coming over." No, I'm on the way. I'm finna come now, faster. <laughs> Got some hair on there. Like, it just give you an extra like sensation on the entry. Mm. Of that pussy when you got some little hair on there. Keep that hair on there for me, baby. I like a bush. Okay, you what about in the ass? I don't I don't know about the ass too much. You know what I'm saying? But so you don't eat ass, you just want your ass to be I, I, I probably my ass got eight more than I ate it. Mm. I put it like that. Ain't that crazy? You know, so we going back to that shit. Hey, keep crap. But but I do it. If I, like I said, I'm not that much of a pussy indulger, you know what I'm saying? Like eater. No, I, it's like so it's rare for me to do it anyway. You know what I mean? Right. But if I do, then I'm going all the way. I'm going to eat everything for the most part. I'm down there. Let's have the whole smorgasbord. I ain't finna be missing no spots. And I'm, give me everything, baby. Fuck it. You know what I mean? I mean Fuck it. You know what I mean? Do you like a little smell? <laughs> a light smell. Like a light smell? Yeah, I don't like it. If it's just nothing, it's cool sometimes. But sometimes that euphoria just gives you, you know, the that. The pheromones? The pheromones. It make your heart bump a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Your testosterone get invigorated, and then you really get up in that motherfucker. Look, but it can't be. Listen, it gotta be like I say, like sushi. Like we eat sushi, you really got a smell, right? I don't eat sushi. Okay, but yeah, whatever. If you eat sushi, it ain't got that much smell. But if you eat like a full goddamn cod or something, we ain't going for the full ocean. You know what I mean? We want yeah. a light scent. Like a light scent. Yeah, if it smells like a goddamn fish tank that ain't been cleaned in seven weeks, baby, you got to go to the doctor. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking about a gynecologist. I want you to make sure you get your motherfucking brain checked because why are you walking around with that? You know what I'm saying? Why are you walking around with that, all that goddamn extra butogen in your bottom region? I don't know. Has that happened to you? Probably like once or twice in my life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It was real like reeking, like like toxic crusader. And guess what happened? Hmm. Fucked it anyway. I, I, knew, I knew you were going to say <laughs> Hey, baby, I'm a, I'm a mad just, man. No, okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. You're, you're crazy. <laughs> that was the old me, though. See, that what people got to understand. What's the old you? Bro, that the was, people don't change. I they changed. don't change that much. I, they no, change I, a little bit. Hey, they baby, don't really change that much. I didn't change. I grew. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ooh, that's organic, you know? But no, for real, though, l- like literally- that was the older me, like 15. No, no, let me be realistic now. About 10 years ago, me. You know okay. what I'm saying? You gotta, and people got to know I'm 42 years old. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. people think I'm younger. Some people think I don't know. Some people think I'm young. Some people think I'm old. I don't know how y'all gauge me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm 42. So mm-hmm. when I say things, I'm seasoned at this shit. It ain't nothing new that I'm talking about. Yeah. So it can't be coaxed and tricked to do nothing. Stuff. I'm at my limit of life. Right. I'm not doing nothing more. Nothing less is where I'm at. I know what I want. So, but all that, everybody get it. 
I'm over that. I'm a successful man. I got to move a little more cohesive. Carefully. Yeah, most definitely. So the old me was a vigilante. It didn't matter. I was running my numbers up. I was going for the glory. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But now I know my worth. So I move a little more, you know, stealthy, more strategic. Men will fuck anything. Don't listen to him. I, I won't, though. Not like I used to. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then something yeah. might run across the path. If I'm hungry like a lion in the damn jungle and there's just a, a raggedy gazelle running down there with a limp leg, fuck it. Tear it up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know what? Lions actually don't want a, a limped gazelle. They just, they want to chase that shit. That's what I'm saying. So it's like yeah. if I'm just starving, like, fuck it, I take this. I want to, I go for the giraffe. You ever right. seen when they go out to the giraffe and bite it the neck? I'm one of them. Right. I'll climb a giraffe neck and bite that motherfucker off. Right. But if it's like dehydrated, but I practice no fap though, so it's like I'm in a different realm. What do you practice? No fap. The fuck is that? That means I haven't. I don't masturbate or watch porn. I haven't oh, did it for seven really? years. Really? Yeah, I haven't. I don't hmm. masturbate or watch porn in the last seven years. And I and why? I, I don't know. Tell you the truth, for me, because once again, guys, when I say shit, it's weird. I might be weird too, and so people say, "Oh, that's weird to me." Okay, that's fine. I'm talking about for me. Mm -hmm. So for me, I just came to a realization: masturbating as a man was kind of weird to me. Laying in the bed, getting lotion, beating your dick, finding somewhere to nut and shit, or you're nutting on your stomach, getting like, what the fuck am I doing? You know what I'm saying? I just like, this is weird. I just came to that conclusion. Seven years ago. Seven years ago. So you, you haven't touched yourself in seven, seven years. Seven years, yes. So That's interesting. And I didn't even know it was a practice called no fap at the time, right? I just did it because I, I never heard. Was, I never heard of it. Yeah, anybody males out there, look it up. It's very, very important, and it changed my life. I tell people all the time, me practicing no fap and not masturbating, I became successful. Because around that same time, I started my YouTube channel, and I became six figures and seven figures, became a millionaire from that path on, which is kind of crazy because you eliminate instant gratification. So if I'm not masturbating, getting this nut off anytime I want to, seeing all these beautiful women on porn and shit, I got to really go earn this nut to come about me, right? Mm -hmm. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to work harder. I'm going to work out. I'm going to get smarter. I'm going to get some more money. I got more time on my hands. Instead of looking at porn, I'm looking at different business practices, watching Amazon, how they do that shit, looking at different strategic moves, looking how to build my credit, looking at insurance and all that, how to put my money there and get that compound interest. You put energy in something else instead of hours of beating your dick and get instant gratification. Mm -hmm. So now when you get a woman, you accomplish that. You got, you earned that nut. I got to earn this nut. And yeah. So it's different. And and when I have sex now, it's like, man, it's a different type of monster. You know what I'm saying? And I'm older. I'm like, damn, how I go three rounds mm -hmm. in a setting? Back to back? Yeah, without even reloading now. Do you understand what I'm saying, Elle? Yes. This three rounds without reload. I'd be like, ah, hold on. Give me two seconds. Ah, it's still stiff. Come on. Her, her again. Ah. That's not normal. An hour. Mm -hmm. Three rounds, no reload now. I, I get what you're saying. Because uh, people they go, because you know I talk a little. Yeah, I get it. Three rounds, like no. Like they'll leave it in there and say, and still keep going. Yeah. They'll nut and keep going. I, Maniac. I got, I got like, it. Like I don't know how I picked that up over the years. Yeah. Because it's I, a practice. It's a practice. Yeah. Because some like guys, a, they come and this shit goes whoop. Yeah. And you're like, come on, let's go. They can't. They can't. They, they can't. can't. I'm a Mayan monk when it comes to pussy. Even if they're fucking in the Hall of Fame of the NFL. Uh oh, uh oh, she dropping hints on some one of you motherfuckers saying. that couldn't maintain like the guy. Hey, all my women out there vouch for me, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I was, I'm not a kiss and tell type nigga. Me neither. But when I talk this shit, uh huh, girls hit me up like, <laughs> they, they, you ain't playing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Crazy thing, you know, I ain't trying to throw nobody on the bus, but you know that clip is viral that we had. You know, congratulations on that. Oh, on my your, hands are sweating. Your, yeah, I like a little sweat, baby. No, I don't. Mmm, tasty, baby. What you been? You been eating nectars, nectarines, drinking nectar yeah. juice? No, so, <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> eating apricots. What is that? What is that where taste? Where does this guy come from? Where, like, where did you Gargolia. get this? Where did you get this from? Gar like, where? What is this? I don't. But. <sighs> What the fuck is wrong with me? But tell you the truth, I'm just an imaginative, creative person, right? Yeah. And I and I, and I studied the greats, and I just I just metamorphosized myself. Man. I know. But if you get if you get me, it'll drive you crazy. I'm just crazy, man. I've been so, laughing all week. Yeah, it's been a crazy week. It's been a crazy week. It's been a crazy week, yo. He's been fighting with people. Fighting, talking crazy to people. They've been trying to for hours. I'll be up four in the morning. Talking crazy to people. 
But I know the engagement That's game. Right. So it's like I have a good time with it. I don't get mad because I know <laughs> it's part of the game. So I have fun with it. But I be trying to understand when they say certain things, right? That is you're, me. You're out of control. But I don't know where I come from. I'm a crazy guy, you, man. Is your, like, who's funny around you? Or are you just like born like that? I, I But I, I did watch a lot of TV. And I watch different things. So uh -huh. my personality is a merge of a lot of things, you know, from the Eddie Murphy's Yo, can you Martins. get me a thing? You know what I'm saying? Um, like but, a cloth of some sort? Yeah, she was your nose running. But yeah, I should listen to like Howard Stern when I was younger and Rush Limbaugh and um, Bill O'Reilly. I, I listen to everything from, you know what I'm saying, Jerry Seinfeld to, I look at, the, I listen but to the white dudes. You think everybody did that? But they ain't adapted though. I paid uh -huh. attention. I knew what was funny. Or I know like underground shit. I catch it early. Like, oh, I get that. And I take it and I put it to me. My personality is already strong, but I know what's great. I know the little shit and I put into my personality. So I have fun with it. You know, it is me. You're fucking. But I know what to say to be like. You, you know, know what? I mean? He's funny until you get into a relationship with him. Then it's not funny anymore. So just yeah. tread lightly. Yeah. I, 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 I've All you there. girls that are like, he's my dream man. I apologize to a lot of the women I I, I, I did in the past. Be I actually careful. talked to a couple of them, you know what I'm you saying, have? within this last week, yeah. Because, um, you know, this shit been viral, so Super girls hit viral. me up. They laughing like, oh, you crazy. And I be like, damn, when I talk to them, I actually want to apologize to you because you actually was there, you know what I'm saying, when I was coming up and I did do you dirty or I was like just, <sighs> you, you know. know that's nice of apology, but it's like, why couldn't you act right from the beginning? I know, but I had to go through something to understand what I was and what I wasn't. You know what I mean? So it's growth, you know? And that shit pisses me off when guys apologize. Don't fucking apologize to me. I don't accept it. Yeah, trying to be nice now, huh? Yeah, fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's true with me. I feel like even if they don't even accept it. Even if it's it, true, I, I don't give a fuck. See, like, even if you felt that way, I got it off me. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I meant it when I said it. Yeah. So you can say that, and I and I, and I accept it from you. Now you got to deal with that on your behalf. I'm over here. Yeah, I have free. anger issues. It's okay. A lot of us do. Okay. A lot of us do. Another yeah. thing I want to get into. Talk so to I, this guy I used to know, right? He's kind of good looking that I used to date. Yeah. And Instagram used to snitch on you and show oh what you God. liked. That and was crazy. That was crazy. Yeah. And then I was I was noticing that he was like liking these like heavy set women uh -huh. no disrespect to them but yeah i was just confused and then when i would go on their pages i would just see a bunch of celebrities that like their shit too Fact. and these girls you're talking about bbw's the big yeah, ones yeah but okay. i thought bbw meant like big booty women or like big breasted women nah, but big, I beautiful it, women oh big yeah. beautiful women it's a level above just being thick it's one, it's like it could be from one notch above to goddamn enormous you know what i'm saying it all depends on your level of bbw intriguery you know what i'm saying how far you want to dive into that abyss. <laughs> yeah, how do they get into that? Man, I don't know. But I tell you the truth, though. A lot of guys, we love BBWs. Um, for Why? one, they're nice. Most of them got good jobs, you know. Um, and the most important thing that probably most of us run into, that pussy be good. BBWs, Better? BBWs got that warm honey bun pussy. Hmm. Like, if you had a honey bun, you put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds, you take that bitch out mm -hmm. and eat that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. That's how that pussy feel from that BBW. So it's different than a regular? It's a different bro? type of meat moisture on that motherfucker. You hear me? I love a BBW. Now, I go, my level is above, one level above a thick. You know what I'm saying? Okay. First I can't of all, do the big what, stomach. What's thick? Thick is like, you know, a natural or even a enhanced ass. It's a big ass, but it's like you no know, stomach. You know what I'm saying? Everything proportionate, right? Yeah. Like but, but, could, but a lot of big women, are, like uh, these women are proportionate, but they're he, they're like t pushing 250, 260. My thing is, as long as there ain't no big front stomach, motherfucker, fupa, whatever y'all women call it. No, no, I, I get what you Yeah, as long as I ain't got to lift no stomach up to get to the pussy, I'm with it. You hear me? Really? With it. Yeah. As long as I got to lift up the stomach. So do you prefer to fuck bigger women? I, I like all shapes, I, size, colors, and creeds, and goddamn religions. And I, I done fucked the Muslim chick and took her whole shit off of my shit. Shut the fuck up. I swear what to God. What the fuck is wrong with you? What? You said he fucked a Muslim chick and took all you took what? She was one of my best. Stop, but we get to bro. that, but I shit I she was a damn what was that called? A seductress or something. What's that called? I ain't gonna lie, that shit was crazy. But BBW wise, it's special. All my guys out there, comment below, let me know. We love a good BBW. Shout out to all the BBWs out there. Like, 
And I mean, like across the board, you ain't got that no. But you gotta be seasoned and pussy fucking to understand it. You know what I'm saying? If you're just a regular smeggler dude, you ain't understand the velocity. Not, yeah, they're not gonna. They ain't know. gonna get you. Gotta be a top tier guy. It be the know. good looking, in shape yeah. guys that fuck these girls. Yeah, cause that pussy bomb. They gonna take care of you. They gonna rub your feet. They gonna goddamn make you a turkey sandwich and motherfucker got the chips in the sandwich. You mm-hmm. know how you? They are. Yeah, they come like that. You wake up. The sandwich got the turkey with the cheese and the chip in that bitch. Like damn, you put is that yeah. sour cream chips? Are you? Gonna go out with her in public, but you, uh, hey, now you, not all the time. They ain't gonna do that for everybody. Mm-hmm. Some will, mm-hmm. some won't. It's all a lot of time. It is a little undercover hidden thing that guys do with them. You know, some guys are blatant with it, and that's okay. You know, what I'm saying some guys are hidden with it. It all depends on how you move. You know what I'm saying? But of course, majority of the guys are gonna keep it low. You know what I mean? Shout out to the BBWs. Shout the out to the BBWs. I got a real um, love for you got girls out there. The one thing I say for me. Mm-hmm. Let's try to keep that stomach flat as possible. You know what I'm saying? That ass fat as possible. You hear me? <laughs> Lipo. Some of them do that though, and they be they like, all do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because how could you? How could you be that big everywhere else and not yeah, yeah. your stomach? Some, some do that. But that's new. That's new now. That's the new age thing. I, I'm old school, so I just see the ones that was naturally with it and it was proportionally with it. But if you do what you do, this don't. I mean, keep in it New right. York, there's a lot of them. I don't know. If yeah, they're, they're is, not though. here. It ain't that many here. Yeah, this is more of a skinny town. Skinny yeah. girls got good pussy too, though. Like, you don't get it fucked up. Oh, you know what? I do want to ask you about that. Yeah. Like, so girls that are like super skinny, yep. right? That yep. are like models. Mm-hmm. What's that like? They take big dick deep. Really? They take the dick the best. Like big girls really can't take all that all that big salmon inside. That's there. what I th- I thought they could. No, they're it's bigger. opposite. No, it's the opposite. Yeah, like most big girls can't like a thick girl and all that. A skinny girl gonna take a mile a dick. Grand Canyon. Pussy. What? Yeah, yeah, and it'd be good too. It, uh, it's called a skinny spread. If it's got like, like if the ass is just at the bottom type of the ass and that pussy fat, skinny girls. Wait, hold on a that, yeah, that's what? a good pussy right there. You could tell. You got to know pussy to know it. When you see, you be like, ooh, that little skinny motherfucker right there. That motherfucker gonna be smacking. <laughs> you got to be seasoned in the pussy fucking. You hear me? All right. Well, he knows a lot about pussy. I do. I'm, I'm the king crab. So then, what do you? You're saying skinny girls could take more dick than Way fat more girls? dick. Anybody, all my guys, comment below, let me know. Skinny women take the deepest, thickest dick every time. There's no question. You really got to be ready to fuck a skinny bitch. But the fat girls give the best head? No, the fat girls got the juiciest, wettest, creamiest pussy. Okay. It got more moisture and the meat around that motherfucker. There's some extra circumference in that bitch. And the intangibles, the internals got an extra layer too. You know, like when you go in the cave, you got the stalactites and the and the other one at the bottom. They got that shit all the way around. It's gushiness though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's warm. Oh, my God. Yeah, gosh. and it's warm. Yeah. I believe it. Well, aren't, all, aren't all pussies warm? Not all of them. You know what I'm saying? Some not of all them of them. Are some, cold? some not warm. Some of them dry. Some of them, you know what I mean? My like uh got ain't got no humidity in that pussy. You gotta have some good humidity in that pussy. Yeah, but if they're dry, then they're not really attracted to you. Or they just got they they, they levels of um juiciness is not there in life. Like every pussy is not gushed up. So like when I say dry it doesn't mean like it's just dust coming out. It just ain't gushy. Mm-hmm. That's the level it's different levels of vagina. You know what I'm saying? Some women got extra wet, gushy, creamy, sweet pussy. Some women shit is basic, just run of the mill, just a little bit of do do a little faucet leak. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. There's levels to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's levels to the vagina. Okay. It is different. You know what I mean? Would faucet say, levels. Would you say like most girls can't give head? Um, not supreme, though. Like most girls can't go. I mean, you said you have a big dick, right? Yes, yeah, yes. So it's, 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 it, it's ten it, inches as thick as my wrist. All right, so if relax, it, relax. Okay, if you look it. at my arm right here. That's uh-huh. it. Because it's, it's the same as this. It's Bro, the same right there. It's I, this dick. I get it. Any, I ain't going to say that. I'm going to go too Relax. far. But okay. I'm just saying. I got like, excited because I like to talk about myself. But I, I gotta know. Calm I know. down, I know. Jarvis. I know. We know. He has a huge dick. Let I me get, get humidity. But honestly, like. Let me get humidity. I would be, I'm scared of big dicks. Most, I mean, it ain't for everybody. I'm not, see, like when I say that, it's not like I'm saying like, oh, I'm the king of the world. Because every, like, it's, every hard to, it's hard to like maneuver. But I put it like this though. Once you fall in love with a big dick, you ain't going to want nothing else. You hear me? Like once you get a fill of that big motherfucker, you ain't you ain't gonna because we hitting services. I can feel a cervix in the back of that motherfucker. I can feel you it. Think that feels good? That some love it. Mm-hmm. It all depends on the woman you're with. Every woman can't handle it. Some I don't even have sex with women. They like I can't do it. Like you, especially I ain't gonna be with you like that. You finna ruin me for the rest of my life. Like no, or it hurts. I don't think it's gonna. Ru- we come back. 
No, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're trying to find another guy, it's hard to find that again. If I made that that channel in that pussy, mm-hmm. and then you fuck with a regular dude, it's like, man, he ain't hitting that cervix. Once that's you get true. that cervix hit, you gonna want it every time. So now you're gonna be trying to search. Now you lost and found. You didn't got your body count crazy. Now what you gonna do in life? You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's different how it go. I'm, and every woman don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to truly know what you're doing. It's just like you know how to drive a goddamn semi truck, right? Like mm-hmm. that look cool or them big ass trucks. You got to know what you're doing driving that big ass truck. You just can't go everywhere and monster trucking around and shit. You, what is this fool doing? You got to know how to drive that thing, baby. You know what I'm saying? So I got my CDLs with dropping dick. <laughs> Let me take this motherfucking sip. <laughs> ah. You fucked a Muslim girl? Yeah. That was one of my most legendary experiences. Like, Tell me about it. Hold on. Let me just check my face. Yeah, check your face, baby. You look beautiful. Thanks. I just want to make sure you know there's what nothing saying? on it. Got the pearls and shit on the goddamn lapel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, my Muslim girl experience was legendary. Um, She like hit me up on like Instagram, like liking my shit and all that. But she full garbed out. So I'm like, what the fuck? I'm intrigued now because the eyes was pretty. I'm like, I can see it in the eyes, something there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I like her shit back. She like my shit. She DM me like, hi. I'm like, what's up? Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, I like you and all that. I'm like, what? She's like, I watch all your stuff on YouTube. And I'm like, for real? Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. She's like, yeah, I would like to meet you sometime. And she was in my city. I'm like, all right, cool. What's up? I understand it's full garb. I'm like, you got to send me some shit. Like, no, I can't send you nothing. But trust and believe when I meet you, you will see that I'm I'm beautiful. And I'm like. I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? I got to I got to see this. You know what I'm saying? This gotta go down in one of my history books, right? Uh-huh. So we meet up the next night. She comes to the crib. She just walked right in the room, right? Is she Arabic Muslim? I don't I didn't ask. I don't I, I mean you can tell. Nothing. Is she black or she's 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 she like Arab. no color little so she's dark. She's Arab. Yeah, she's Arab, Arab. That's what yeah, I'm yeah, asking. not no like Somali or no. God bless you. No, because you know that. there's some like, yeah. it's a culture thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why yeah I'm so asking. my bad. I am fucking up. It's okay. Yeah, so no, it's real. Middle Eastern, got it. You know what I'm saying, like yeah. that type, like the, the that Muslim. You know what I'm saying, not nation Islam. No, I'm playing bullshit, but no, like real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, that type. Mm-hmm. I don't want to fuck it up. Nobody go crazy on me. I'm not the, but yeah, like fucking Persian is uh, is red. I don't know, so I, <laughs> one of them, and I was intrigued. You know what I'm saying. So boom, right? She coming to Rome. She had the full goddamn understanding on. So I'm like, man, come on, man. You got, you got to be fucking kidding me, man. This could be it. They could be assassin hit or something. I don't know. Might come in this bitch, blow me up type dog bullshit. I'm playing. I'm playing. Goddamn. You know what I'm saying? They might be want me. I did a lot of shit in my past. You know what I mean? This motherfucker could be jihad on me. But I was like, fuck it. I'm going to try it anyway. Fuck it. I'm going to die. I'm going to die trying. But anyway, no, she comes in. Crazy. Bro. So she comes in and then she hugged me. So when I hug. you? Yeah, Wait, yeah. hold on a second. Hold on one second. Yeah. She came to your house from Instagram? Right. I mean, uh, come on, man. I'm three of them. I, uh, but you're going to invite a girl you never met before to your... What if I was it's a young, guy? Was, dude, come on now. No, but I'm saying, like, you never know. That's what true. What if it's a setup? You, that's, that's did saying. you see that uh, video of the girl, like, sending her location and that? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that can happen. But I'm one of the most dangerous, craziest niggas in life. So somebody... I know, I'm a, somebody read it. People's tried and they almost died every time. God bless me. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate God for making me through all my trials and tribulations. But anybody who ever tried me, they almost lost their life, not me. It's just I'm, not I'm more it. I'm more C-murder, Gucci man, than goddamn... Everybody else that passed. I'm a different type of nigga. So, but at the same time, I was reckless of me and I don't move like that no more. Once again, this is 10, 15 years ago. This is a long time ago in that span. I don't give no numbers because you might find who the person is. But anyway, so she come over. Boom, she had the full shit on, full goddamn shit on. Um, I hope I, how you say I don't want to disrespect it? Hijab. Job. Had the full job on. And um, <laughs> she job. come. Job. So she come in, right? And I hug her. Listen now. So I hug her. When I hug her, I like to grab ass when I hug. So you, wait, did you know she was coming to fuck you? Of course. She said it? Ain't no women ever going to come around me not to fuck me. I'm three of them. I'm the one. Okay. They coming to fuck me. Right. They come to get blessed, and they always do. So listen, so she when I she hugged me and I grab her, I like to grab her ass when I uh-huh. hug and spread the, that pussy at the hug. Mm-hmm. I like to do that when I know it. So you get that understanding. So she grabbed me, and I hugged, and I grabbed her. It was a fat, juicy ass. Mm-hmm. And I grab it with nothing underneath. So I grab it, just feel the skin and the ass just spread. I'm like, ooh. Was it black? With the, the hop. <laughs> Talking about. My job. God damn it, how you say it? I fuck it up. Yeah, the job. It was black. It was black. But it was, it wasn't, she she had this on the Instagram. Listen, she had this on Instagram, but in person she had the full mook out so I could see her face. You know what I'm saying? So I see she was pretty. 
God damn it. Nah, help me, people. Am I fucking up? I don't, listen, I'm, I don't want to be, you know what I mean? Hope nobody get mad at me because I love my Muslim people. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and everybody. It's called the hijab. Hijab. Okay. So she so she had this part out this time. Because when on Instagram it was like this, you couldn't see the uh eyebrow type. But this time she had the full face out, so I'm like, she's pretty. So I grabbed that ass, it was so soft and juicy. Like I grabbed that motherfucker and it spread at the pussy meats. I said, damn, my motherfucker dick was torpedo. That motherfucker, I probably poked a hole in that motherfucker jihad. What you up? <laughs> you know, I'm in my drizzles, I'm in my drawers, I'm drawers, no shirt. Wait, hold on. Socks off, everything. Sockless. At the door? Sockless at the door. Stop. I usually come robe with nothing underneath. I usually come robe in that motherfucker, but this is a different time. So I wonder if women find that disrespectful. Like, how how do you know? Come on, that she's. How do you know? It's the God, man. We are gonna have a good time. Like, let's do it. Like, what are we playing? You know what I'm saying? But it, I'm a different level individual, and we got some understanding. Like, I'm not no regular Joe Schmo. When you come in here, we finna get blessed. So she come in there. I grabbed that ass. It was juicy. I said. Damn, my motherfucker dick torpedo type poked a hole in the jihad. And I lifted and I said, fuck it. So she just started kissing Good my job. neck. And I grabbed that shit and I just lifted it up. I just took the whole motherfucker off one move. Just one motherfucker. I grabbed the bottom of that bitch. You know, I got a long I went. I, so I'm grabbing her ass. She kissed my neck. I went to the bottom of my feet and ripped that bitch up. Woo! Like, like a goddamn magic trick. And she was naked. And the big ass titties with that motherfucker. I said, damn. So I got on that bed. I just went to work. I, I put on that bed. I went to work. I tore up. And the crazy thing, let me tell you some wild. You want to get wild or you want me to stop right there? Oh, God, just go. Huh? You sure? Yeah. Because I'm in that motherfucker going crazy, doing all my, I got some crazy technique moves I be doing. I be standing up in that motherfucker from the back, dropping that bitch straight down. I call it the gargoyle, so I be dropping that motherfucker. I be standing up on my tippy toe, dropping that bitch. Boom, boom. I'm a crazy move having nigga because I'm flexible. How could they keep They call up? me King Crab. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Mm-hmm. She was different. She was a seductress or something. What the fuck does that mean? Like she was a sex, like like angel or something, like a, a goddess or something. Mm-hmm. Like she, she was, was a seductive. She knew what to do. She yeah. was experienced. I'm dropping both holes now with the lumber. You, you get what I'm saying? Yes. I'm dropping dick and ass and pussy, and she it. just taking it like it ain't nothing. And she had a hijab on. Yes, and I'm the lumberman. I've got that <sighs> 10 inch with girth. You hear In me? the ass. Yes. Oh, hell no. I couldn't believe this shit. She was like, yeah, put it there. She grabbed it, put it there. I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm fucking, boo, 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 boo. I'm going crazy there, day. Uh, and she's like, this come in my mouth. I got a scrap boss in her mouth, like, boom. And she just got up, went to the bathroom, washed her shit off, threw that hijab on. Uh, thank you. Gave me a hug, left. Never talked to her again, no nothing. Really? It might have been a dream. I might, was it real <laughs> shit? I don't, I don't know. I wasn't there. So let me ask you something. Hey, so, shout out to her, man. Whoever you is, baby. Hey. I can't. I'm done. But that can I ask crazy. you something? What is wrong with me? Why I'm telling you that? What the fuck is wrong with you? God if you it. meet a girl who's like cr- crazy free, like remember that girl I showed you on the Instagram? I'm not. I what happens when that when a girl's like, I want to stick my tongue in your ass and swirl it around? Nah, nah, I didn't caught oh. my limits. Like I said, I, you can lick what it, do you baby. Do? I didn't felt my limits in life. You know what I'm saying? But the communication is very important. You know what well, I'm saying? What I'm, do you do when that happens? I'm not no dominatrix and, and chain you up type nigga. I'm not no, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing all that with no one. Put you in the swing and all that shit. I'm not, I'm not that guy. You know what I'm saying? I got a a, a medium, because I like they said on the internet, oh, he's crazy. But when I run the bit chicks for real that really yeah, into all that shit, they be like, you're normal. Like this, that's all you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm not into all that bondage and chain you. I had bitches want me to walk them on leashes like dogs and shit. Women want me to piss on them. I try to drink a whole gallon one day to piss on this bitch. I couldn't even do it because my, <laughs> I, I tried. I swear to God. The bitch want me to piss on her. I was like, what? Oh my God. God damn it, to get the water. And this didn't happen. But I told you, you got to do it in the shower. I do in the shower, you're right. She did tell me that shit. She done told on herself that mm-hmm. she said it. But I, I I couldn't do it like like when she asked me. I was like, fuck it, I do it, you know what I mean? I put her in a jacuzzi tub and shit, but it just couldn't come out, you know? Yeah. I done did some wild shit, but that's my limit. But I ain't with all that extracurricular wild chained up and toys <laughs> and fruit and all that. <laughs> like they go too far. Like I can't do all that. Ain't no twirling in my ass. Just lick that motherfucker, get me stiff and get up out of there. You know what I'm saying? That's my limit. So you ever had to tell a girl to calm down? You yeah, you gotta tell them sometimes. You gotta tell them. Yeah, sometimes you do gotta tell them. Or then you can feel them like they be grabbing like your leg or something and trying to hey, don't do that. <laughs> don't I know what you're thinking. Stop. You gotta be communicative though. Yeah. You are because you're doing some wild shit, so it's well deserved. But communication is key, so you can't get mad at them. 
talk. You I know feel like women, for women, it's hard to communicate well because we don't want to hurt a guy's feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, that's over time, though. That's why it gets better when you're really, you know, free with a guy. You um had that had that cohesiveness bigger than just the first time. That's why if I like it, like girls always have sex with me fast, and that's okay because I'm not gonna get rid of you. We're having a great time. We're gonna keep going. Like if especially we have a legendary first experience. Mm-hmm. What that tenth one gonna be? I want to see what that number seven going to be like. You hear me? I want to see what that third one going to hit for. Because now you're going to be even more goddamn energetic. And you open. know my Yeah, you know my calisthenics. <laughs> you know how I'm dropping that motherfucker. Do three loads. Teach girls? Like, of course. Mm-hmm. All my girls leave. They better than ever been in their life. Oh, I'll leave it. They got, I got plenty of zombie freaks I made in this world. You know, and a lot of guys are indulging and blessed behind that. So you know what sucks about that for women? Like when they meet a guy who could teach them and all that shit, they go to a regular guy after that. It's different. And the regular guy's like, oh, shit, yeah. she's experienced. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, but, they don't like that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I like experience. So that goes back to the body count shit, right, mm-hmm. that people always talk about. For me, I'm a top-tier guy. I've been having women my whole life. I don't give a fuck about no body count. I want Because you come over here, you got to have something going on because I'm going to destroy you type. And you're not going to understand the calisthenics that I'm coming with. Right. So, But I just, I just say, for me, I like to know like it ain't nobody in my circumference circle. Friends and family, and nobody I know. And if it is somebody coming around, we fucking around. Just let me know. Well, first what of all, do. what girl's gonna tell you the truth anyway? Anyway, that's true. Like so, when, like so, they gonna. If you lie ask anyway. me, I'm gonna tell you too. Right, as you should. Yeah. Like, why would you? Because you know what people weigh so heavy on it, so you're already playing a, a defensive game. So, I'm going to tell you zero. You know how many times I'm I asked a girl, Mary. like, really, in my life, my real life? I did one on YouTube, but, like, in real life, like, how many guys you fuck? Never in my fucking life have I ever yeah. asked a woman that. And if a guy asks you that, it's a red flag anyway. Get the hell that's away some, from him. On some G shit for some me, that's just, that's, shit. that's some nerd shit. Like It is, because you'll kind of know by the girl you're fucking with, you can kind of tell if she's right. a whore or not. How many guys you I'd have never asked that in the history of my it's life. I'm coming to drop stupid. dick. I'm going to be number one regardless. After I come in, Gonna be you ain't gonna have your account start over after me. So fuck how many you want to, baby. You come to me, gonna start over because ain't no way somebody fuck that pussy better than the God. I'm not worried about no competition. You know what I mean? I am the one. (laughs) So like I'm not counting that. You know what I mean? As long as it ain't nobody I know or none of my friends. And if it but that's the once again, that's a communication and and understanding you should have if it's that deep to even nobody count. Well, no that you should trust that she'll tell you. No girl's gonna tell you shit, honestly. I mean the numbers, but I'm talking about No, if she even if she fucked your friend, she's not gonna tell you. I mean, but that's on her then. If she likes you, she ain't an ain't shit bitch then and she that's gonna catch up to her and she's gonna be banished like the rest. And that is what it is. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna have to deal with that in her own time. So like, but if we on that level of trust and understanding, we should get that done. If we can't, then we shouldn't be together no fucking way. That's true. That is. Thank you. I, I try to keep it as, you know. Do you think high performance people can be in relationships anyway? Um, In the lower levels of their life when they start toning down, you know, for the most part. It all depends on the situation and the communication you have. If you got an open relationship and you explain that, you get it, then it, then it could work. But other than that, it's kind of difficult. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of yeah. difficult if a guy really loves assortment or a woman likes, you know, assortment and like you that. you said you like assortment. <laughs> I use, not as much. You I said you to. like new pussy. Ain't no pussy better than new pussy. Everybody need to know Stop. that. That's a fact. That's just what it is. That's a fact of life. You know what I'm saying? That's just a fact of life. Any guy going to say that? Um, but yeah, but I, I'm calming down like now in life. I don't need that much assortment. I could, I could deal with what I deal with when I get it now. It ain't mm-hmm. that serious as it <laughs> used to be. I'm coming from a different space right now. So yeah. If you cheat on me, if a guy cheats on me, just know I'm fucking going to hit you with something. Yeah, she's violent. She's she's, she's I devastating. But I, I mean, it, it's difficult in this world now because so much access, you know, through all these social media so do, platforms. So do women just hit you? Do you even have to like look for women, or do they just hit you up? No matter what, as a guy, even though you cool, you got money, you got clout, you still gotta be proactive with the pussy. Okay. You still gotta pre- be pra- proactive with the pussy. Does it come more like? Of course, you know what I'm saying. But then now you gotta filter it more too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying so. That's a beautiful position to be in as a man that you can. I feel like men don't even approach. Or they're scared to talk to women these days. They don't like rejection and they like to be. I, I never like rejection. I was shy my whole life. Really? I'm still shy. I still don't really approach women like that, especially like in person. I still really don't do that to keep it real. Really? Yeah, for sure. To keep it authentic. I, I, I still not like. I always, like I said, my style is a Venus flytrap. Do you want to be pursued? Of course. I'm the one. I like to keep it real. Like. So I know you're I'm the not going to pursue a girl? I mean, it all depends. It's I'm rare that's an occasion that it, it happens, but if it's worthy of it, I will. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like immune to it. Yeah. If it's worthy, <laughs> I will go chase. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For sure. But majority of the time, 
I'm at the highest level, so I should be. You gotta you gotta come to me. Mm-hmm. I see it like you from New York, right? Yeah. This how I see it. Just like what friends or people want to get put on or women and all that. I see it like the mob. Mm-hmm. The boss, you got earners. Mm-hmm. If I allow you to be in my circumference, you bring to me. I'm not feet. I'm the boss. I'm supposed to come down and get you. <clears throat> but if you you're shit. a predator, like you said, like you're a lion, right? <clears throat> how but, is the gazelle gonna come to you? Okay, but what do women do in the in the, in the pride for lions? They're they fighting, f- yeah, and they feed the. So man. you want another? You want a lion then? I mean, for the yeah, I gotta have a lion. Yeah. I can't have no gazelles running around. You know what I'm saying? I gotta have a lion that's gonna do work and come. But we- does that work with you? <clears throat> it, it, it does work because I'm not against a strong woman because I'm stronger. I'm always going to be on top, regardless. Gargoyles is always on top. So no matter how strong she is, how much she got going on, I'm that nigga. She's going to treat me accordingly, regardless. I'm going to be dominant over any woman. I don't give a fuck if she got a billion dollars. I got a million. I'm that nigga. Yeah. We're, we're, this is what we're doing with that No, I'm saying, isn't there going to be fighting? Ain't going to be no fighting your ass up out of there. We're going to compromise, get some understanding, we're going to move together. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no fighting. If it's fighting, then I'm not dealing with no fighting. I don't argue with women. This right. is, we don't have some conversations. If we don't be cohesive, God bless but you. But I'm saying, if you keep cheating on her, what do you think going to happen? I mean, if we got on, only time I'm going to be fucking other women if I'm in a relationship is that I done told her we in an open relationship. If I don't communicate do that with her. Do you think a lion is going to let you be in an open relationship? <clears throat> yes. No, she's not. If she got some common sense with life. No, she's but not. But that's all depends on which lion you get. You got different type of lions. You yeah. got top level women that be like, I understand you a, a fly ass nigga. Mm-hmm. You like a lot of bitches. This is what I'm gonna do. You can do that. Just don't bring it home. Keep it out of my business. And we got what we got going on. It is women like that that got bags and that's got strong personalities that get that because they done been through it with other people and they be like, I like you. I love you. I know what's going on. I've been this before. I'm gonna let you live. Huh? You know what I'm saying? For sure. They okay. done seen it before. No, we've been. I mean, yeah, they've been seeing it, but they're not gonna give you a pass if they want to be. With the guy they think that's like that. And they like him and love him. I guess. You maybe. see what I'm saying? Maybe. If, if you was with a guy. I'm and, not giving him a pass. Okay. I'm not giving him a pass. I'm just going to say, fuck around, fuck around and find out. That's all. There you go. That's what I'm going to tell him. It's rare, but it happens. And it, it, if I, I was, know that all, they say all men cheat, men cheat or whatever, but yeah. like, I don't think we should be conditioned to just accept it. Like, oh, just do whatever you want. I like, want to say all men. Because I, like I say, I, was, I got people in my life I know for sure don't cheat. Three of them. Mm-hmm. My my main guy Slim. He's married to his wife Jazz. I know that one. Okay, billion. so why can't we women get that? It's, it can happen. My okay. brother and my guy Rod. These are all married people that's around me. So my then, close circle. It, so that's so that's proof that not all men cheat. That's right? a fact. So but that's, that's these so are one percent. Why would situations. why would I want to put up with a man who cheats? I, mean, I don't. Yeah, I people, don't. A guy and guy, I'll fucking kill you too. A guy just won a lottery for a billion dollars, didn't he? he somebody got to win. <laughs> somebody got to win. What? You know what I mean? It's like the lottery. Somebody got to win that billion dollars. There's a chance. Oh. Like Dumb and Dumber, one out of a million. So you're saying it's a chance. Is that? Yeah, there's an exception to every rule. If you're really that motherfucker, then Facts. people will bend to your needs. Most definitely. And, th- and that goes hand to hand. Now, we're talking about outlanders and the rarest of the rare. But if you are that, then you are that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, it, if you're not, then it's okay. You got to live within your realm of understanding of life. Yeah. But everybody want to be over here with the top of the top. They think, I mean, you're not. Get your ass over here where you belong and stay the fuck from over. You come over here, it's going to be bad for you. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not putting up with nothing from nobody. I'd rather just be alone and rich and I'm cool with that. Oh, my God. There she go again. She well, I'm just saying. I'm not dealing with it. I, I've, dealt, I've dealt with men that, like, I'm attracted to the worst kind of men. Right. Kind of like you. Right. You know? And- um, I'm better now though. Hey, ladies, I want to look. I'm looking for a woman, a companion, and I want to grow together. I'm not out here trying to just be vigilante with the vagina. I want to have a woman I could go but, grow with. I think it's time for me to settle down maybe. and get some kids and everything. Yeah, I you think should. it's time. You should. I think you should. I think it's good. But like, I'm not. I, I'm not putting up with cheating. Like, I'm just yeah. not because I'm not gonna like you anymore. I'm gonna be right. mean to you. Yeah, because it's gonna be some resentment there. We talked about that yeah. before, so it's all so gonna be you, some resentment there so over a while. Just, how come men? They're more fucking committed to the fucking gym. Right. They're more faithful to the gym than to their women. And that's that annoying. gym gonna get you more women. Duh. Shit. I go. Pump you just these. said you want to settle down. Why do I'm you talking about me? You just, I, you just fu- you fucked a million bitches already. What are you looking for? I'm cool. I'm coasting a little bit now. I didn't. I didn't got mine off. All right. So then everybody what, so, don't get all theirs off. I got mine off from a G- twenty years straight. Some guys. But you're saying you can't be monogamous to one girl. You I said wanna, that. I want to try. That means attempt without success. But so I ain't gonna say I'm gonna try. I want to do it. 
You do? Yeah, I want to do. I want to get me a woman. Uh huh. And be monogamous. Shut the fuck up. Am I smiling? No. Okay. Let me... I want to find I... me a nice woman. Mm hmm. Be monogamous. You know, and really see how far we could take this shit. I want to see if I could do it. if I am the changed man I think I am. Mm. You know, that's why I, I want to okay. test my limits. That's if I could not masturbate for seven years and not watch pornography, exactly. If I could cut off eating candy, which I love, and did that for two months so exactly. far, exactly. I can think I could sit down with a nice, beautiful woman and grow together. You yeah. know, get a garden and some shit. You know, get a nice stable with some horses. And I don't all know that. if he's serious or not, but that is a good idea. I'm serious. So any woman out there that. You know, you interested in Mr. Organic. No, no, fuck that ain't Mr. Hey, fuck Mr. Organic. You hear me? Uh-huh. Jarvis Rivers. Okay. Jarvis. Jarvis Dante Rivers. You like that? That's a good name. That's my name. Mama, you did a great job. Aww. Jarvis Dante Rivers here. JDR. You just wanna, you know, I'm I'm looking to grow as a man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I wanna see how far I can go as a full real man. We like know? we like that. Gotta gotta eat that motherfucking salad though, baby. Gotta toss me. No, oh, that bullshit. <laughs> I'm playing. I saw a video, right? Yeah. This girl, you know the girl with the thing on her head, the black girl that I post sometimes? I I don't know her name, so I don't want to botch it up. Okay, I know what you're talking about. She said, if a man has a kink, you should, you should um like feed into it. Like of go, course. you know? If because I had guys who like to like lick my feet and shit and suck my toes, and it's like it kind of like I don't like I mean, I'm not really like into that. No, nah, I hate feet. But you and gotta just... if, if you like them. As a woman, you you're have to just yeah, do yeah. Because as a woman, you're catered because uh, to take a guy there. You know what I'm saying? You're correlated around your guy's sexuality for the most part. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You have to just do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it knows ain't too goddamn crazy. I know, but that ain't too wild. You know? Yeah. But that's if you look. You know, I had a guy one time. Not that I was dating him. I just right. met a guy. He wanted me to like abuse him. Yeah, yeah. That's like stuff. tie him to the toilet and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Uh, that's I was different. Like, Everybody got their own stuff. You and know he what was saying? a fighter, too. He was like a of boxer. Course. And he was into, like, yeah. getting abused. Probably was abused as a kid or something. You got to yeah. think about that comfort sometimes. People are into weird shit. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So sometimes you're like, I don't want to do this. Yeah, but that means, fuck, get out of here then. If I'm not willing to go there, I don't love you like that, then get to, don't do it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, because people like, have weird kinks. It ain't that serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, like, there have been women in my life that never did that with me. Like, when it, I'm not forcing nobody to do that. It, it's cool when it happens, but it's not, like, mandatory. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not mandatory. But motherfucker, yeah. motherfucker saying that's such for me to a motherfucker, a woman, mm -hmm. to en enjoy my, my extremities, right? But they want to suck a bitch's toes. They're, like, sucking dick to Yo, me. It is. You're the way they do it, the you, way they do it is, You like toe sucking dick is a sucking cock to keep it 100%. <laughs> Am I tripping? I'm not Bitch can't even eat no. A uh, woman can't even eat no whipped cream and try to put it in my mouth. Get back, baby. What are you doing? You yeah. see what I'm saying? So everybody oh, got their own no, thing. No. So if something weird to you is weird to them, I ain't gonna say you sus. Only time if it's sus or suspect, that's their own thing. And that lifestyle will suffer with other men. And I'm not even judging them. God bless them on their path. Everybody entitled to be what they want to be. But I only see it if it's penetration or you're with the same sex to me. Yeah. And I might be wrong. That's just my opinion. So, you, wait. So, now I have a question because I, I saw uh, what's his name from the Black Ink. He said he likes to be pegged. Is oh, That's penetration, right? Yeah, that's way too so far. For good? me, that's way too far. God bless him on his path. Mm -hmm. If it was somebody that something I'm against and there's some like sexual stuff, especially if it's a man, you think I'm going to go out my way to be like, hey, man, you're gay. You're so, that you flirting. Right. Right. Why you bothering that man in his business? Why you in his no. business? Why you so concerned about a nigga ain't it so much? You well, see no, what I'm saying? He talked about no, it. No, I'm not talking about you. You're a woman. I'm talking about other men. Mm -hmm. They'll be talking about him on his comments and engaging with him. He doing shit with women. Or if he is gay, why are you over there bothering him? You intrigued? Why are you attacking somebody going on their shit? Oh, that's what people do on the internet. But as a man, that's 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 crazy to you me. People attack me. Go every talk day. to them. Say that's a, but not. I'm talking. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. If somebody, if you think somebody, it's the internet. That's what I'm saying. Who that's gives what I'm saying. Fuck? That's strange for me to think that if you call somebody, yeah, call somebody. People sus, don't leave their house. They're yeah, incels. yeah. Oh, that's what it is. They just, I just thought of like if they're I thought, it was never something I thought was strange that another guy did, and I went over there and said, "Hey, man, you're gay." Like, well, I do that. You type engaging them, so we be like, "Yeah, I am. Come here. You want to shut my cock or something?" What well, if he did that? So why are you bothering him? That's weird. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But God bless everybody. Enjoy your life. And whatever you want to do, do it. Mm -hmm. That's your world. You're entitled to that. You know what I mean? But for me, I know my limits and most people should know their limits. Yeah. Some people might think it's weird. They're entitled to that too. Mm -hmm. But but don't be bothering a motherfucker going out their way talking to him and shit. But we in social media world, I get it. I'm not tripping. I like the engagement. But I'm just telling you guys when you do that, you're looking kind of more weird than the guy that 
you're they talking to. They don't care. They got nothing going. They get excited when you respond That's to them. That's true, though, huh? Get them some energy from the God, huh? Mm-hmm. I, I, I do it, too. You know, I go back. I like it. It's funny to be. But that's all, man. It, 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 I don't judge nobody, man. You know what I'm saying? I done seen and heard a lot of weird shit. People might think the shit I do is weird, too. They ain't tired of that. You know what I'm saying? But make sure you be you're mindful. O- you're open with it. That's what it is. It's how I said it, right? Yeah. I don't know. I decided to talk. Well, everyone has their thing. You For know sure. I mean? But when you say it out loud, it's wild. Like, it's wild. No, understand, I got a lot of close friends, cool. Mom. No one, no one like three of them. Why you say everybody with niggas is normal? Like, man. It's... But it's funny. You know what I'm saying? I, I love it. I love the internet. I love social media. It made me who I am, like, wise, made me successful. I got a lot of opportunities from this. Thank you again. And you're going to get L. more. Yeah, I appreciate you, L, for sure. I'm using your platform and joining you here and then just having these fun conversations. You know, when I'm on my King Crab talk, you always pull it out of me. You know what I'm saying? No homo sapien. You know what I mean? That was mm-hmm. funny. I didn't know we was going to go that far today. Put my Muslim story out. <laughs> it's a legendary story. Where's she at? Hey, baby, if you, hey, listen up. Find okay, me, baby. Mr. Good. Organic Instagram. Yeah. DM okay. me, baby. You know what I'm saying? What is wrong with you? I want another round with you. That thing was good, though. She was dropping in each hole. I can't even get in the other hole. I only did it like twice in my life to another woman. So it was like, she would have taken that one for easy, like with nothing. Yuck. That was crazy. You ain't supposed to be double dipping, but I double dipped in all that, too. Fuck it. I know. I would never let a guy fuck me. I was in that motherfucker like, damn, I was double dipping that does motherfucker. Shit, does it bleed? I don't know. I, I don't, Listen, I'm a, I'm a ignorance is bliss person. Mm. I done fuck girls on their period and all that shit. Keep the lights off, throw the towel down, go in the shower. Shut I don't see nothing. Shut the fuck up. I'm a run light. You're I'm not a, allowed to do that. I'm a red light runner. It's I'm funny. a red light. That's sour. That's, 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 it, that's straw. It's the Bible. It's listen, like you're not supposed to do that. That's strawberry shortcake, baby. Let's blend the juices. But listen, though. I'm a red light runner. No. But only on really on the first night though. If you're like, oh, I'm on my period, no. take that out. No, it's, it's, it's not like all the time. If you at my crib already, we getting turned up. I'm on period. No, I'll take that tear pot out, baby. Let me go tear that up. Against 